Weather coverage you can count on with Alabama's Weather Anchor of the Year, Way 31's Chief Meteorologist, Kate McKenna. For the time being, the Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network is showing us a quiet picture. We did have a few downpours, a few thunderstorms just off to the southwest earlier this evening. Those have since collapsed. Now our attention turns to what is out towards the west here through Oklahoma down into Texas. A lot of activity here, severe thunderstorms. We've got tornadoes. This is heading our direction over the next, again, 24 to 36 hours. And it is going to not be packing quite the same punch that it's packing in the plains, but we're still going to have to watch that threat for severe weather starting to ramp up later tomorrow evening and then really at its highest through early Friday morning. Here's the current view over Gunnersville. I wanted to show you this. We've got the cloud cover in place, but not enough to totally block out the moonlight here. We've got a waxing crescent moon, and you can see that very nicely shining over the lake, even through the cloud cover. Temperatures, we are at 69 degrees currently in Huntsville. Gunnersville, we're at 68, same in Scottsboro. It is a little bit cooler already farther to the north where the air has stayed cooler through the day today. We had a cold front roll through, but that boundary has stalled out and that's going to be lifting back to the north tomorrow as a warm front. So you can expect warmer temperatures for our Thursday than what we saw on this Wednesday. Highs creeping into the upper 80s by tomorrow afternoon, partly to mostly cloudy. Rain chances during the day stay fairly low. They spike just after sunset and they stay elevated through the first half of Friday. So here's the rest of tonight into tomorrow morning. Mostly cloudy as we go through the day. Not much of a chance of rain on an isolated shower or a storm. It is a possibility. It's just not likely. There's 6 o'clock. Past 6 o'clock, there's one round of storms that moves through. This is the first kind of inkling of a severe threat. These storms can be packing gusty wind, small hail, but this is not the main event when it comes to when our threat is at its highest. So there's 11 o'clock tomorrow night. That line is kind of fizzling by the time it reaches Sand Mountain. And then we get another line of storms rolling through early Friday morning. These storms are going to be entering uh, around the shoals, we're talking 5, 6 a.m. They're going to be right along I-65 by 8 a.m. This is a little bit of a timing difference from what we were looking at earlier this evening. This is a little bit faster. And these storms and this data source and some of the others don't look that intense as they were maybe earlier with the model runs earlier this afternoon. But I still want you to take this threat seriously because of the time of day that it's coming through in time for your morning commute. You don't really want to be out on the roads when these strong storms are moving through. There's 930, just beginning to see these storms entering northeast Alabama, quieting down a bit through northwest Alabama, and there's noon. By noon, we start to get closer, of course, to the peak of daytime heating, but by that point, these storms are out into Georgia, and we're just going to have a few lingering showers once the cold front passes later Friday afternoon. So this is a Friday morning threat for us. This outline that you're looking at starts at 7 o'clock Friday morning, and it shows that outlined risk from the Storm Prediction Center right now as a level 2 out of 5 along and east of I-65. So what does that mean for us with these storms? Heavy rain definitely present not only with Thursday evening storms, but again with Friday morning storms. Gusty wind, strongest wind up to 60 miles per hour. And then that risk for a tornado, it's going to be there as well. We just need to be mindful of that threat. It's much quieter by Mother's Day weekend. It's much hotter by next week. Look at that, close to 90 Tuesday and Wednesday.